Who? Lucas Oil. The pro stock ladder looking to the second round. Mike Edwards and Shane Gray, Greg Anderson and Roger Brogdon. At the side of the ladder, Ron Krischer and Johnny Gray. Ron will have Lane Choice and then Allen Johnson and Kurt Johnson. Allen will get Lane Choice in that matchup. So pro stock second round, Johnny Gray and Ron Krischer. Krischer right there last started in a semifinal at Topeka. And Johnny Gray started a career high second here this weekend. Wow, Ron Krischer got a slight advantage off the starting line. And then the car made a right turn. Johnny Gray's going to get the win. Nice run. 665, 209 miles per hour will advance him to the semifinals. Alan Johnson, he was the runner-up at Norwalk. He's going up against Kurt Johnson. Alan Johnson, number two in the points. Kurt Johnson trying to turn his season around. There's a good old drag race oh, right there. Man. Wow, look at that. Kurt gets the win. A 664 with a two beats Allen Johnson 664 with a seven. And that will turn your season around. Greg Anderson and Roger Brogdon come up next as we look at the photo finish. There is Roger Brogdon. His last and only career semi was at Chicago. Greg Anderson, what a weekend he had at Norwalk. He took everything. Wow, and he was driving great in Norwalk. He just hit a double 05 reaction time over Roger Brogdon. I don't think he's ever going to look back from that. He doesn't. Nice pass. 663 at 208 miles per hour gets him the win. And there's Mike Edwards, who beat Shane Gray in the final at Englishtown. It was Shane's first and only career final. And now Shane has to face him again. Slight advantage to Mike Edwards. Well, Shane's giving him a race, though. Wow. It's Mike Edwards, though. 663 elapsed time. Just barely beats Shane Gray, 664. Let's take a look at that. Just by a nose, Mike Edwards gets around Shane Gray. Good race. So. With Pro Stock Round 2 complete, here are the semifinal matchups for you. Mike Edwards and Greg Anderson will go at it again. Anderson will have the lane choice. The other matchup, how about Johnny Gray and Kurt Johnson? Kurt's going to get the lane choice in that matchup by virtue of his 664 elapsed time. Let's go to the top end and Gary Gerald. Mike Edwards going now to the semifinal matchup against Greg Anderson, and by a thousandth of a second, he gets the advantage of lane choice. Tell us, you've been a lot of concern about this track and the condition today. Will that be a factor? Um, it was yesterday in the last qualifying session, so, uh, you know, I don't know. We're just going to uh, make the best adjustments we can for that lane and uh, see why we stack up. But, uh, you know, I got a lot of confidence in my guys, and we'll see what happens. Thanks. Okay.